So anyway, JP, thank you so much for coming yeah. in here. I really appreciate it. I'm just, I've, I've been dying to have this conversation with you. So seriously, thank you for taking the time out of your busy day, because I know you're a busy man. Um, you're juggling everything in life right now. You're climbing <laughs> mountains, you're running a real estate empire, and you're cycling. <laughs> Trying to follow you guys. Oh, stop it. <laughs> cycling, and you have a beautiful family. Just made his day. <laughs> That's great, Jeff. Thank so, you very much. Seriously, I mean, it's, 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 it's not easy. You're like the man of, of, of many different talents. <laughs> okay, how did you guys meet? Um, we met through Ricardo. I suppose that with this guy with Chaz, we do have some common interests, right? Coffee. So, so one of them is, is of course, coffee. The Where's your coffee, one, by the, the way? The other one is it. to meet interesting people mm -hmm. and to know interesting people. And the other one is the love and passion for cycling, right? So we had some common friends and we started to ride together along Key Biscayne and Miami and that's why we, we met. And why, why road bike? Because, because I, I, I've been always into mountains. Mm. We live in a country that has this huge and long range that called Andes Mountains yeah. range, right? So we have several mountains, high altitude mountains, technical mountains, vertical mountains, whatever. And uh, so we have been climbing all these mountains since, since born. exactly since a kid. And at a point, we start climbing higher mountains or more more difficult mountains. So I started doing road bike in order to train for mountains for mountaineering, right? Uh, right? Yeah, because you can get altitude and you and you and you you make your your you have an exertion. The the thing is that with road bike, it's really good for your heart, right? It's a cardio, cardiovascular sport, and then it's really good for the legs. So it brings you a lot of power in, into the legs, right? So I started doing that, and on parallel to the mountains, and at a point, you start to realize, as you said, that you, you are good at it, and, and you are, I mean, you can ride with the good guys, and you can follow them, and so on. So you start, you start getting into the sport, right? So you start to train more and more, and so on. Um, and yeah, that was a uh, ten. And does Chile years ago. have a very strong riding culture? Like I think so. Yeah, it's it's getting really popular nowadays. I think so it's popular. We're getting popular everywhere. Everywhere. So, ev everywhere. In yep. the world. That's right. Yeah, I think Wherever it's becoming. Wherever we travel, we see people. We see now, that's, but maybe you see right. it more. But anyway, that's right. Ten years ago, probably not maybe that much. But right now, or over the past, good question. Over the past, I don't know, five years or something. Blown up. Really blown. Crazy, crazy. Not only cycling, but running, right, and all yeah. this. Uh, exercise. Exercise sports, outside exercise sports. Yeah. Right. It's, it's really, really incredible. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's yeah. incredible. So when I, met, when I met JP, I was like, okay. I, I've always been fascinated by people that had the mental toughness to accomplish certain things. Yeah. That they were, they were willing to, to, you know, to disconnect their mind yeah. from their body and from the pain. So tell, tell us about your, your expedition. To, how did it come about? Well, it's, one second, before we get into that, yes. like, what is your fascination with mountaineering? Like, where did this start? Like, what's the... Chile. Pro probably because of Chile, and as a kid, you was looking... So the landscape here in Miami is the ocean, right? Yeah. So you, you look at the ocean. In Water. Santiago, yeah. you have the mountains. Uh -huh. so, so as a kid, you, 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 I don't know, you wake up every day and you see the mountains and you, you like to be there and you, you like to climb the highest one and so on. So we started with my family and friends who so on going to the mountains and, and that's why we started to, to do road bike at a point and, uh, and you start to climb all the, um, all the, I don't know, common or well-known mountains in Chile and, and then you start thinking about, well, we should probably something, we should probably do something uh, higher or something different. What's the highest peak right now in, in Chile? In Chile, Ojos del Salado, uh, so salty eyes that is, is actually quite close to Aconcagua, so it will be the second highest point in South America. So it's quite high, in, oh. the, in the north of Chile. Have you climbed? No, I haven't. I haven't yet. Yeah. Oh, so you wow. went to Everest before? You went to Everest yeah. before you climbed yeah. the highest mountain yeah. in Chile. Well, well, the thing is that we went to Aconcagua, for example. So, uh, the, 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 the highest. Aconcagua is the highest. Yes, oh. Yeah, Aconcagua is the highest. So it's, it's and not where is a, that? Where is that? In, in Argentina. Argentina. So, oh. so it's not a thing that, it's not a, a thing that, well, let's go to Everest, let's, let's, let's start tomorrow. Let's see, so you need to, of course, you need to prepare both physically and mentally, right? And probably the most important thing to do or to, to achieve a goal like this one is, is to have a, a, good, a good head, probably more than the legs, right? Uh, because the, I would say that 80% of the job, it will be to fight Mental. against your head. 
Because your head is saying to you, "What's it saying?" We're not going to do it because you, you are you are you are freezing. We're talking about minus forty mm -hmm. degrees Fahrenheit, and uh, and you are connected. It's like to walk on the moon, right? So you are connecting with this bottle and with this mask, and you are in a in a moon suit, in a in a in a down suit. How many layers did you have? Four or five, um, and then on sunny day. How long uh, did it take you? Two, two months, right? So, well, what we were talking about Chile and we're starting to climb the mountains and, and we, we did Aconcagua in South America and we went to Kilimanjaro, for example, in Africa. There's the highest peak in Africa. Oh, yeah. And then we went to Elbrus. There's the highest peak in, in, in Europe. There is in What's it called? Elbrus in Russia. Elbrus? Uh, yes, in the west part of Russia. It's a really beautiful peak in the... Siberia? Is that Siberia? It's, it's not Siberia, it's, it's just above Georgia and it will oh. be, it's a republic, it's a, it's a, it's a dependent republic from oh. Russia, it will be Gavarino Valkaria, that's the name of the republic. Uh, in the oh, it's not part of Russia. It's part of Russia, but yeah. it's, it's a... It's the a, satellite state. It's a, it's a, exactly, <laughs> Some, something, something like that. Let's, so, just say, let's just say that Putin owns it. <laughs> so, so you have this, we had the, uh, the Andes and we had climbed the Andes and then you have this, I would say, seven summit challenge that is in a way try to climb the highest peaks of each continent right so in the states you'll have Denali in Alaska and then Aconcagua in South America and um, Binson in Antarctica and, and Kilimanjaro in, in Africa, Elbrus in Europe. In Oceania it will be a, a mountain called the Carlsen Pyramid that is in Papua New Guinea it's quite quite in Australia. Near Australia, yeah. Exactly. And then you'll have Everest, of course, in Asia, right? So, and for every, for every uh, mountain guide or climber, I say, I'll say that Himalayas is like to be, is the, like name that I climb, right? It's like to be in the, in the, in the high lakes, right? It's like to, to I don't know, it's to... It's like the dream. It's like the dream. Yeah. It's like, like to the be, ultimate, it's the like to do the, 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 the corner Ironman or, or, or to, to bike in the Tour de France, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So at a point we start to climb all these mountains, both in Andes and abroad Chile. And that was eight years ago or something, with a group of Chileans, uh, climbers and really good friends, we say, well, let's, let's plan this. Let's, let's try to achieve and task Everest. And, uh, and we start to, to plan the trip and, uh, and the logistics are crazy. We're talking about a two month trip and you have to plan everything. I mean, the food and, and the chirpers and the oxygen and the clothes and... No, no, he said... The the no, you need, you need, you have Sherpas, yeah. you need yes. licenses. Licenses, of course. You need so permits. You need to, so you need, need to, so you need to, you need to pay, let's see, for the, you need to, all these mountains, Everest and all the, the peaks in Himalayas are are inside national parks, right? Both Nepal or Tibet or, so or pa Pakistan. Exactly. So, so they, they ask you for, I don't know, X, you know, put of money and, and you have to pay them. How and much does it cost? It depends. It depends of every, every country. Thousands? Probably less, probably more, but, oh. but some, something around that. And uh, so we started to plan the trip and, um, and we went and, and then we said, well, there is some Chileans that have climbed Everest because we're not the, the first ones, but they had climbed it through the south route, so the south face, that is the Nepalese part of the, the, the mountain, That's right? That's the most common. That's the most common. That would be the normal route, right? <laughs> not, the, not, the, not the easiest route because the all, all the routes are difficult, but, okay. but, the, but the normal route. And, and that's the most common. And the typical photograph in National Geographic of these 200 climbers mm -hmm. and the traffic that's are hard. looking at the Everest. I don't I know, have you that. seen that? Yeah. Have no, you seen it, the picture? No, so, but it, it, it's like, basically there's a, I mean, you, you can explain it, but, I, I, but I've seen it, the pictures, and I'm thinking to myself, this is crazy. Basically what people are doing is, they have like a two-week window, and everybody's yes. rushing. Yes. Oh, how, no, many people, how many people are sitting on camp, base camp? Like, well, in, in, in Nepal, in the front, in, there is, there's, a, there's a normal route, you'll have probably 200, 250 people in base right, camp. Right, so you got 250 people uh, that are sitting there, and they're all, they all want to get up there. <laughs> and, and there's like, a, there's, oh, there's, there's a break in the weather, yeah. and everybody runs to the yeah, top, that's, and, that's, then, and, that's right. and, and there's one line to get up. It's not like you, you, you basically you have... No, and you, guess, and you guess, and you guess, and you guess, you can't pass. You can't pass the, people. Yeah, the, 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 yeah. You can't come around people. You have one line right. to go up, and then if one guy is slowing down because he, he's not feeling good, yeah. he creates a massive... It's yeah. like sitting on 95 traffic, but... You know, you're 25,000 no, feet up in there. You're right. It's, it's, and how it's crazy. Long does it take, it's, you said no, people are dying. Yeah. People die waiting online. Yeah. 
So, <laughs> so that's as, as Charlie's saying. It's that crazy. was that was actually. Is it a more dangerous route than the other route that you, you not, took the not other Not that that was one of the reasons why we chose the other side. That is the, that is the north side of Everest, the north face. Mm -hmm. That is the Tibetan side of Everest. That was actually one of the reasons. And the other reason is that because it's less popular, you say? Less popular. There's less people. There's there's probably more technical. That's why the Nepalese one is a normal route. This one is more technical, so it's more exposed to wind and to um, avalanches and so on. Uh, but less people, <laughs> right? Sounds like a nightmare. So uh, <laughs> and and then the other thing is that non Chilean have done it through that side. Ah, oh, so you wanted to be. So I wanted to, in a way, try to try to achieve and make history. Uh, uh, becoming the, the first Chilean expedition to do that route, right? right. The North Ridge route of Everest, that's well, the name of it. But it's harder to get there too. It, like it's, the it's, traveling. It's harder, it's harder because to get to the base. Because Tibet right now is, is China and, and the permits and the regulations it's and it's all Chinese. And but that's it's super, it's super route, difficult like, to, to, to deal, exactly, yeah. to deal with them, with the, with the Chinese government. And, uh, so are they covering you on live TV in Chile? No, no, no. no not really. when you, while you're. It yeah. wasn't such a big story. No, no, not really. I mean, it appears on the newspapers afterwards, but 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 not but not, not, not. It wasn't like the whole country was cheering. No, no, not not, not really. <laughs> I mean, I would say that mountaineering, at least in Chile, is not such a popular sport, right? Very so nice. then you'll have the the soccer, the football news, and, and the tennis news, and that, and that's it. At least right, in, in right, Chile. Right. So, um, but the interesting thing about all these uh, trips, right, and expeditions, is, is that you you think at the beginning we're talking about a sport trip and it's much more than that. Right. It becomes, a, I would say that not a sport experience, but a life experience, yeah. a therapy, right? A ther and at a point you are in the mountain, but the whole process to get to the mountain is, is, super, is super strong. Let's say, for, for, for example, you are disconnected from your phone for, I don't know, one month or something. Wow. And, and I mean, try to mind it, right? Not, not receiving emails, calls for one month. It's like a... Maybe that's liberating. Yeah, it absolutely. Sure absolutely. absolutely. I mean, I'm, I'm, absolutely. I mean yeah. it's like a, you, you... You reset your mind. You receive, in a way, you, 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 you get like a, a upper or another level. You, you look at things at a different... Yeah, I was going to say, when you, know, you got back uh, and you had any challenges, yeah. I'm sure it helped you yeah. deal with whatever you needed to do. Probably this one is, is too, I mean, it's probably too, it, it's an extreme, right? Yeah. But if, but if you take, I don't know, if you go for a weekend to some place without any signal and, and without cell phone, it's, it's definitely, it, it, no, I it think, hits I, you. I, mean, I think it's amazing. I yeah. think it's amazing. Uh, the, 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 the interesting thing about, about, uh, about doing that, like, for example, disconnecting. Like yes. Yeah, the green is great. I like this it is, too. This is, this is the new green that we Beautiful. came out with. Like. Beautiful color. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. New strap. Anyway, Talking yeah, about watches. Sorry, no, one of the interesting things yeah. is that a lot of people have asked us, how come we never made a smartwatch? Yes. And, oh, yeah. and, and, and we always took the approach that, um, you know, we, we want to be connected to time, but we don't want to be a slave to time. Yes. In other words, for example, we want to know what time it is, yeah. but we don't want to be, a, in other words, we want our wrist, like we call this like wrist estate, right? Yes. What do we want to do with this? We want to keep our wrist pure and yeah. have just pure time, or yeah. do we want to like, inundated with a million other things. It's enough that we can't control ourselves and we keep pulling yeah, the phone out of our pockets. That's do we need this on our wrist? Listen, I'm not trashing yeah. um, Apple Watch or anything. I'm it just was saying, good for us. No, that's, I'm just that's, saying they got people for, used that's to for us, I think, I think this is, the, the, you know, putting something on your wrist yeah. is just another step to being totally inundated yeah. Yeah. by technology. Yes. And it's like anti yeah. something that you did and where you went for a month and had yeah. zero, which is liberating. Ab ab absolutely. But uh, but let me yes. sorry. Yeah, let's no, see. you go first. Okay, let me tell you let me tell you something. So we went last year in November we went to Antarctica, right? And we wanted to climb the highest peak in Antarctica that is Mont Binsen. Same as Everest. You you'll you don't have any type of signal or whatever, you don't have cell phones and computers for probably two weeks or something. Mm -hmm. Uh, but the only thing I, I, I took it from me was, was a watch. And the, the different thing from Antarctica than the rest of the world, probably Alaska or the, or the north side of the planet has the same thing, is that you'll have, in this t time of the year, you'll have 24-7 sunlight. Oh. Right? Is it 24-7? It's 24-7. Wow. So on night, on, on the night, I mean at night, you don't see the sun because the sun already went down, but the light is still there, right? So it's 24/7 sunlight. It must and then be disorienting. 
super disorienting. So, your so, and, and you don't have the cell phone, voice. and you don't have nothing. So the only thing, your watch. exactly, the only thing that that <laughs> a live it, watch. It, it a live watch, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the only what watch I have. Yeah. A live watch. So the only <laughs> thing that keep keep it for me in order to understand what time was it, what should I do, whatever, it was a watch, and wow. um, that was interesting about Antarctica. It's, yeah. it's, That's it's, really uh, cool. Now, at one point, what I was going to say is that we had a campaign called Disconnect to Reconnect. Yes. Because that's really what you're doing. Yeah. You're yeah. just reconnecting yeah, with yourself. Yeah, in a way. Well, you, you, you use this verb, res reset, right? Yeah. So you, you, are, you are resetting yeah, with, like with all yeah. this... Uh, but I, 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 think, yeah. I think there's a new... I think I, I don't think we're the only people that think this way. I think there's a, a whole new set of... Uh, a, a, a trend. A, a trend, yes. I would say of people that realize they're becoming slaves to their devices. I know I have problems. Yeah. Like, I'm always like checking, there's always something else going on. There's either email or no, WhatsApp, a, a group text I message. I suppose that at a point you'll, yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll need night. them, right? Right, but, but um, what I'm saying to you, what's that? I said, at dinner last night, every five seconds on your phone. Case in point, you see? <laughs> and, um, see, this is why I brought her. So that, I'm so glad you joined the conversation, because now we can point Thank you, out. Thank you, Thank you, appreciate that. <laughs> Yeah, is there any other moments you want to have me here for? Nice. But anyway, yeah, there's, 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 there's this whole new trend of people that yeah. they like the idea of having a smartwatch, but yeah. they don't want to become slaves to yeah, their yeah, devices. Yeah, you're right. And, it's, yes, and, that's, and, that's and, and I think, I don't know if it's, if it's an age thing, I don't yeah. know if the younger generation don't see it, but yeah. maybe you reach a certain maturity level, yeah. and then you just realize that one second, you know, life is going by super fast. Yeah. Don't yes. blink because, yeah. I mean, you probably remember, you know, when your two-year-old was born. Like, it almost feels like it was yesterday, right? Yeah, absolutely. And now it's two years later. Yeah. We have a 10-year-old, and, and, and I just, yeah. and I, I'm like, what? I have a 10-year-old? The, the yeah. problem is... And, and your time goes by so fast. Super fast. So, I mean, that's, and, and that's one of the beauties of having a, a, just a simple mechanical yeah. watch. A absolutely. Where it just tells you the time. Let's keep... Yeah, I was, life it needs to be simpler. I was on the sleeping bag trying to sleep, because you don't really sleep much, right? We're talking about minus in Antarctica. For Antarctica, you know, minus forty Fahrenheit or whatever. The live watch, my and, uh, Antarctica. Uh, you was cool. you were with the sleeping bag, yeah. with with your clothes on the sleeping bag, right? We're yeah. talking about a, a down, a, exactly, a layers and a, yeah. a down suit mono, and then the the down sleeping bag is, is so you're in the middle of your tent, a small tent, freezing, right? So everything that is it has a relation, a connection with, with the outside is is, is freeze, right? Yeah. Is a, and then. So you, you, you can't really go to the bathroom, you, can, you just need to or, rest. Or what do you do about the bathroom, by the way? So you use a pee bottle. For, for number one, you use a pee bottle. <laughs> okay. so, so you use a, a bottle, both men and women. So women will use a, how do you call them, bull? Uh, a, a funnel. A funnel, exactly. A funnel, thank you. So they'll, yeah. they'll use a funnel. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll use it, uh, no, but, but, you, but you need to do, I mean, it's so cold that you can't get out of your sleeping bag. Wow. It's too cold. But then for number two, of course, you'll, you'll need to, to go, right? But um, if you want to pee, you'll use your, your pee bottle, and then... And, and it, you have to drink. And No, and not, you, not, you to, can, not, not to drink, but because it's hot, it's good for, uh, for warm, right? So you, you keep it here. And, um, oh, my God. But then... You but then you're hugging so, your pee. Exactly. Yeah. The whole night. The, no, not the whole night, but... <laughs> <laughs> But then, yes, but then the thing is that it's, it's freezing. You're trying to sleep. You, you, you don't really sleep at all because of the cold and because it's, we're talking about, you know, where you're, you're a certain altitude that you, you start to, I mean, the, the headache say. and so forth. So, and it's, it's sunlight, it, it's sunlight. Way. So you say, what time, what time is it? I mean, should I try to sleep? Should I try to go and take a walk? And, and, and the watch is there, right? So, oh, free. 3 a.m. in the morning, so let's let's I don't know, let's live for two more hours, and that's it. But the but the good thing about exactly, but the good thing about the watch is that you are like this, and you don't have to to, to move, right? So, uh, to two two a.m. in the okay. It Do you have photos? Of wait a minute. Yes. Yeah. You saw them? You haven't he seen said, them. What are you talking about? I said this whole conversation <laughs> started because I said. Well, let me, let, me, let me just roll back a little bit so people know what's going on here. Did I see that? Because you seem very confused. <laughs> yeah. So basically what happened was is that after I met JP... Um, and we got the Everest book. We got, yeah, we got the, we got the Everest book, I whatever it was. And then, and then I met... Yeah, and it then, was, yeah it's and a nice then, issue. Yeah. Let's see. And then you would come to the office. I don't remember what the reason was. Yeah. You said to me, hey, listen, I'm going to... You gave her coffee. You gave her coffee. Yeah. coffee. Okay. For the not that good coffee. But now it's good. 
Um, but now it's good. It's yeah. more positive. Okay. <laughs> And, um, and at one point he said to me, by the way, Chaz, I'm going to be climbing Mount Vincent in Antarctica. Yeah. And, you know, would it be a wonderful idea if we took a watch to the summit? Yeah. And I said, that's a phenomenal idea. So not only did he take the watch up, which thank God, you know, was great because you knew when yeah. to pee, when not to pee. And yeah. <laughs> when to sleep or when not to sleep. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Well, we do have pictures. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, and, and, and you know what's interesting is that a lot of people have mentioned to us, like, what are the limits of your watches? Yes. Like, oh, with, with climate. Like climate. Like, yes. Well, like, what's the maximum? It's, it's a, so it's a, can, it's a fair can, question. I mean, so we can, yeah. we can, we can, yes, we can you're talking clearly about, say, yeah. Esther, we can clearly say, Without a doubt, yeah. that because our watches can go to minus 40 degrees. And, and, and uh, what's the altitude of Vincent? It's uh, 16,000 16, feet. 16,000 feet. Wow. So yeah. we can go 16,000 feet. So if you, yeah. if you buy a live watch and yeah. you plan on going to Mount Vincent, we warranty it. Absolutely. That it's going to you be. Can, <laughs> you, can, you can say that. And, and let, me, let, me, and let, me, let, me, let me tell you this. Yes. At least for our experience, Mount Vincent was even colder than, than Everest. Wow. It, was, it was super cold. I mean, wind is always a factor. Yeah, wind is always a factor. Yeah. I, I'm very interested in the mental part of this. Like, what? How do you mentally prepare for it? And like, can you tell us a little bit about that? I'm just curious. Yeah, good, good question. See, so, so these high mountains, I'll say that they are probably 80 percent or something mental instead of physical, yeah. right? So, of course, that you need to train both. Yeah. And you, how do you train? your body physically speaking, well, we know that cardiovascular and legs and cycling and, and, and running up the mountains and so on. But probably the most difficult part is, is to train your, your head. You train your head for, for difficult conditions, for harsh conditions, for difficult decisions. So you have to take, you have to take decisions in, in, in mountain quickly and you have to think clearly. Same as in life, right? The no, same that, thing. Right, that's what I'm curious. Uh, what so, so I suppose that, you. yeah. So I suppose that you you train this. Well, first of all, trying to put your body in into those conditions and and make decisions on the process. So, so it's not a, a thing that hey, let's go to Everest, let's go tomorrow. So, you should try to go in altitude on a I don't know one point on a I mean. First, do on a mountain that is not that high, then try a higher mountain, and so on. See how your head reacts, how your body reacts, how your your, your decisions react, and then you start to to go further up and, and take a higher higher altitude mountains. Um, but then, what is what is important is that you also realize that at least in these mountains, if if you have a small mountain or a normal mountain, you can do it by your own. But in this mountain, or in or in higher mountains, or in longer expeditions, you'll need a group. So then the decisions you'll you'll never take a decision by your own, or it's difficult to do that. So you'll take it as a group. You have a leader or a, or a guide leader, and then you'll you'll take the decision as a group where to go to the summit, or where to stay, or where to I don't know, leave luggage here or whatever, or do any carry. So so you as we both that the other important thing is that to try to know. Your, your team, right? Mm -hmm. So you need to train that as well with them, not only physically, but mentally. And then when you are the, at 8,000 meters, you can, you feel that, is it what the conversation we're having here? I mean, you, you, you know more or less that you know the people and that you can trust them. Because- I think trust so, is gonna be a big factor. So a lot it's, of the stuff that you were doing it's, in cycling. It's important because, well, yeah, we was mentioning about this cycling yeah. group. And it's the same thing. You need to you need to have and you need to see that trust because it's something that you. I mean, you start above base camp. You start to walk through glaciers, right? So you, we're not talking about a, a rock. We're not talking about a like a solid surface. You 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 put on glaciers, so you need to use the the boots and the crampons. The crampons are the 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 metal, right? Uh, like the cats, right? You you you, you get the, the glacier. And, and the ice axe as well. So, so you go on rope with your group of two, three people in order to, because these glaciers are moving, right? It's not, it's not, it's, it's actually quite common to, to have a, um, a crevices, right? To have yeah. a holes. Crevasses. Crevasses. So, uh, yes. so you Crevices, can, yeah. so you can, it's not, it's not, it's not common, but you can see that. 
that sometimes, right, you some well, one of the the guys will will fall down into the crevasse. So that's why you you go on a row with the the whole team in order to the other one will will take you out of the crevasse. That's that's something wow. you see in the mountains. Yeah. So that's why trust again, trust so it's in mountains teamwork, is it's it's a lot teamwork of is life, literally life ab ab Absolutely, how to how to work in a in a in a as you said, in a, in a team and a stressful condition. It's an area of stressful condition, so then patience and as you both said, perseverance and... Uh, and but what's and the mental process going on in your head? Do you just want to go back? <laughs> <laughs> At what, point? Are you, what are you focusing but, on in your head? No, the, the, I mean, try to keep calm and focus on the target, right? Uh, just keep going. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 think, I think if you overwhelm your brain, I mean, I find that with cycling, and I'm not comparing. Yeah. My, my, but it's what I'm saying, the same I'm saying is like when I have, let's say, for say, for example, I have a certain block that I need to do. Yes. Let's say, for, let's say I'm doing, and then you know, you you cannot imagine how much your brain has, um, how much how much power the brain has over the body. Absolutely. What we do, what we normally do as humans, is is we let our brain we let our brain control the body, right? Yes. And so, but you have no idea how much the body. In other words. The body has a greater capacity. The body, the body yes, the body is much more. The, bo the body can adapt based to, on to based the, to the mental, yeah, based on the, your, your mental toughness. And it's yes. not just your body. Yeah, absolutely. It's, also, it's not just your body. And it's with, anything. With all this, uh, I would say, physically long-term uh, challenge, yeah, it happens the same thing, right? So we're a marathon or a, or an Ironman or, or all this long wheel of the road bike races. It's the same thing. So at a point, legs are important or body is important, but at a point. The mental technique is it get a, a super important thing. The other thing about these big mountains is that what you're trying to do, as team, is to diminish the risks, all type of risks. So, mm -hmm. so you take more time. You were thinking about, you were asking me about what do you think in order to keep yeah. the. So you're trying to to diminish every type of risk, as in life, right? So, so you, for example, the acclimatization process we will will. At least in Everest, we took probably longer than the average expedition. We went to with really good um, uh, downsuit clothes, Here. or the yeah. layers, or, or the, 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 the oxygen um, uh, equipment. Right? We went with a really good Sherpa. So the the whole uh, success of, of the expedition is to is is all about trying to to get into the weather window. So. Typically and historically, you'll have one weather window a year that it will be. That's what I was telling you about those the two the, weeks. The, the two, yeah. weeks the, the, two the two weeks in one year. So within the the 365 years, you'll have uh, one of one or two days of weather window. So between 24 and 48 hours, that is historically it will arrive the second um, the second week or the third week of May. So that's. That's, a window. that's what's going on there um, because you have all these people, right? Tell me if I'm wrong. Yes. You have all these people. No, forget about waiting. These people have been training, some of them for years. Yeah. They've been saving money. You know, a lot of people have this ambition, but you need to have the money to do this. I mean, this is an expensive stuff. It's, yeah. This is not a cheap sport to do. Yeah. You need to have the time, obviously, but you need to have the, the you need to have the, the preparation, you need the licenses, you need sure Yeah, a lot, a lot of things. So you're, you're joining everything together. What I'm saying is you, 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 you yeah, have, that's and, right. and from what I've seen, I mean, you, you can attest to this, but basically, What's going on on, on the um, on the Tibetan side? Not yes. the Tibetan side. On the, the Tibetan side. No, the Nepalese side. The Nepalese side. Yes. On the Nepalese side, they there's so many people there, and there's a lot of pressure for them to make it because this is, might be their only shot in their life, and yeah. they're willing and they're they, you know their their risk, their risk to basically the pressures. That's right. They're willing. Sometimes it becomes an imbalance, and that's why you end up with these long lines of people that do not belong there. Yeah. People that have not, they don't have either the mental or the physical toughness. No, you're, but you're right. Is. They just, they just, they, they built themselves, and, they built and that's, themselves up, yeah, but right? That's true, and that's, and that's why, that? and that's why, the, oh, that's 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 why most accident, accidents occur, right? Red because boots. What's the guy? There's one blue, guy. Yeah. There's one guy. They're called yeah, red green, boots. Green, green boots. Green boots. Green boots. Yeah, we're, we're, people that are just there, they're just frozen solid. Yeah. They're so, never, they're, no one's taking them down. So one guy has green boots, he's still yeah, there. That's, that's, that's and their right. faces, everything stays, everything stays... Frozen right. in time. Yeah, it's frozen in time. It's like, yeah. a, like a woolly mammoth. That's, that's right, yeah. It stays frozen in time. So you try to, so you try to minimize those risks. Um, are you ready, and, uh, Esty? Would you like to climb Everest? 
I just learned how to ski. And, and, and try <laughs> to... One thing at a time. <laughs> but, 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 but then all these all this, all this values, ST, all these values, yeah. a, again, you can apply them for a, for a, a sport challenge. In but, life. But it's, it's life. That, that's the thing. But it's the same values you apply in life. That's it's right. the same thing. Yeah. So why do you, how, how do you prepare mentally for an expedition? The same as you prepare for life. You start to, you start to create your own mindset of values right and, and what is good and what is wrong and when when to push and when to hold on and and, and trying to of course have good partners so right. so super important right because probably a lot of decisions you'll it's always good to bounce off ideas exactly bounce off ideas like, like when you talk about the team the team is is yeah i mean it's super it's, 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 pro really it's probably it's probably it's super it, it doesn't really make sense to go to Everest by your by yourself. You have you have people who have done it, but but then the risk is so high that you'll try to go in a group in a group that with people you know who has the experience, and when you partner up in a business with with a with with a, with a person, you you'll probably looking for the same thing, right? right. The track record, the experience. The focus, or, or what, what your partner, good chemistry. Is it good chemistry. You want to be able to. You want to be able uh, to. Your 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 How family partner. One sec, can I just? I, there's yes. a few things. Tell me. Sorry. Don't be sorry. Where else have you been besides for Antarctica and Everest? So Ant Antarctica. I mean, Binson in Antarctica and Everest in 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 Nepal and Tibet. Then we went to Denali. In, oh, yeah. in Alaska, that was eight years ago, wow. and we'd like to, to repeat the trip this year, so we're going at the end of May. Is it the same people who do all the trips? Same group? Some, some, of, like. some of them. Okay. And, and why we're going there again? Because we went eight years ago, but we didn't summit. The weather up in Alaska oh. is, 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 is super hard. So we didn't summit, and we'll, we'll try it again this year. So the three, um, so it was three major mountains. Oh, and you also did the so, Siberia. The, I mean, there is there the is this one. there is this seven <laughs> there is this seven mountain or seven summit challenge that that, that is the highest peak of each continent. Oh. We did Aconcagua in South America, uh, that was eight years ago. Elevrus in in Europe, that was six seven years ago. Um, we have to go to Oceania, so we have to. We'll, we'll probably pass by Australia when oh, we yes. like to climb. The one in Papua New Guinea. Is that the, exactly, yeah. the one in Papua New Guinea is the Karsten Pyramid, um, and the, and, you have to go to Darwin. And, and and Kilimanjaro as well, Darwin and Kilimanjaro in Africa, and that that mountain so is So you beautiful. only have two more mountains to do. Yes, Denali this year, and wow. and, and the the Karsten Pyramid. So that's what I really wanted to know. Soon. I wanted to yeah. So basically, how many mountains have you climbed? Five out of seven. No, in this no, in this seven big, summit this group, level. five out of seven. Yeah. Five out of seven. On yeah. that so, level. So on one second. So yeah. so far, one out of out of the four that you've climbed that you've summited. Five. No, oh, he said he summited five. Oh. Five. 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 So oh, yeah. one out of them I had a live watch. And yes. the next two will yes. have a live watch. Of course. Wow. Denali Denali is year and, and, and probably soon uh, Carlson Pyramid. What draws you to the brand as a brand? I, I would I would say that everything. That's a good good question, but Probably the lifestyle you see behind the brand, and I suppose that that lifestyle work. I mean, talks totally with, with mountaineering, right? Uh, yeah. So I I I I found it really interesting to to match those two and, and to to get that lifestyle with with the watch to Antarctica. So uh, and then if you look at the watch itself, well, the the design and, and, and everything the, the watch could offer you, the details, right, and the, uh, and the weight. So one of the things in, in climbing and mountaineering is that you are carrying everything by your own. So you have to carry your own load, right, uh, mm -hmm. for, I don't know, three, four, five, five, five weeks the weight. So we're talking about you're carrying your food for one month or something, your, your clothes, the tents. Uh, wow, so you took some live weight. <laughs> abs no, abs abs not, absolutely. So no, but but so but, 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 no. but I'm serious. So, so the food. So we're we're not eating normal food out there. You are eating. Uh, how do you call it in English? Vacuum packed. Liosifilisal. So this uh, dry dry food, oh. right? The, the dry. Like, then you cook with the, with the snow. Exactly with the snow. That that like type of food that, that is that is super that is super. If it's going to be the end of the world. No, no, it's like more like powdery. It's, or... it's powder. Yes, it's like um, yeah, it's powder that you, you you cook it. You you put it on the on the bowl water and and it, it becomes food, 
right? It expands into food. Exa exactly. It, it just needs food. the water and he put the so then, So oh. then weight is probably one of the most important things to, to take into consideration wow. while, while planning a, a trip like this. So this watch actually helped me in, in order to do that because it's a light watch. It works, right? But, it, but it's a, it, I mean... It's got a little bit of weight too. And, yeah. and you have the GX1A. This is the automatic it's three hand. Yes. Can you see it on the video? I love it. There it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's awesome. By the way, Ricardo shows the same exact one. Yes. It's a, it's a cool one. Yeah. I, was, I was quite curious about, so, so what is Lead Chess? Is, is it a watch's brand and so on? You saw his kit. So I, exactly. Yeah. So I, I went through the Instagram and, and, the, and the website, I remember, and, uh, and then I came here to the office and, uh, and I said to him, and we'll start talking about this, right? So, so it's, it's much more than a brand. I mean, it's much more than a, than a watch, of course. Yeah. And it's much more than a brand. And it's just finally a lifestyle. And, uh, yeah. and there's people, not everyone, but there's people who is who's looking for that, right? That's right. Uh, people it's who is specific. looking for, let's say, adventure or new uh, experiences and solve a company like this one or a, or a mountain like Everest in one day or in one month. No. It takes time, it's a process. You need to know your partners, you need to know the people. We're still, we're still in base camp. Yes. Yeah, exactly. you, can, you, can, you can say that. Yeah. But, 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 but the summit is there, right? Yes, and you can, we see and the you, summit. And you're, and you're starting, we see the summit. Yeah, we see, see the summit. summit. But I, I think one of the interesting yeah, things... Yeah, that's true about time. Yeah. One of the interesting... Sorry to interrupt. No, you go. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> but one of the interesting things was when you came to the office, yeah. You didn't just say, hey, Chaz, what it is. Like, I really, I, I, what I found really interesting about you was that you came around the office and you asked everybody what they do. What do you do at Liv? Mm. What do you do at Liv? And I just thought that was really, really fascinating that you took an interest, not in just like the product and the brand mm. ethos and DNA, mm. but more like, who are the people? Because it's important and I could see now why you discuss mm. like mm. team and mm. stuff like that for us also. It's always been the number one, obviously amazing products mm. and, and providing a yeah. unique type of experience for mm. people that buy watches because we feel that people that buy watches don't just buy watches because it's a, it's a utility. Yeah. They buy watches because they have like, it's an emotional Absolutely. side. Absolutely. You know, they wanna have, there's an emotion side to the purchase. But we spend a lot, a lot of time focusing on building the right team. And that's really, really important for mm. us to find people that um, who believe in what we're doing, yeah. who are passionate about what we're doing and love what they do, coming in every day and just feeling great and having a great, we want everybody to feel yeah, that right. way. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. So that's, I, and that's, and, and yeah. that's what I really like when yeah. he came in. I said, you went around the office and he asked, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? I thought he that was great. No, but it's just, it's just, that's, it's, that's, it's, it's, it shows the mindset. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's what I love about JP is when he thinks mm. he stinks. A lot of people just walk in like, okay, look around, oh, yeah, nice coffee. The they just want to see the watch. They that's, want to see. But that's, There's more to it. That's There's probably more. one of There's that's, more. That's probably it. one of the most important things of mm -hmm. uh, of every initiative, both of business anything. and as anything. So the, 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 the people, right? Yeah. And uh, um, you know, I always thought that uh, that the ultimate live man. You know, I always had this idea of the ultimate limit, the man that just didn't care, that just did mm. everything else. Mm. And then I, then when I met JP, I'm like, one second, I need to move it up a level. Like, you know, it was, like, <laughs> you know, it was just like, then I always felt like the live man was the, the, the guy who like, nonconformist, who just, yeah. you know, who's doing all these different things yeah. and just doesn't, not a sheep, you know, we're just yeah. like, we didn't tell our kids, by the way, we always talk about, do you want to be the sheep or the shepherd? Yeah, exactly. You know, so, yeah. and then I met JP and I'm, that's why I'm, I'm like, you gotta come in. We gotta, I'm gonna have this conversation. Yeah, I wanna discuss everything you've done, and so. Thank you very awesome. much, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Asif, and Tess. Wonderful to be here again. Yeah.